Well, I wake up early at the crack of dawn, get my t-shirt, put my old boots on, and I'm gone. FNT's Tailgate Adventures is brought to you by FNT's Fur Harvesters Trading Post, Kelly's A Lights, Ultra Advantage Dog Food, FNT Canine Classic Hunting Dog Boxes, Dan's Hunting Gear, United Kennel Club, CH Publishing. Wild Spirit Guide Service, Midnight Hunting World. Well, hello and welcome to F&T's Tailgate Adventures. The, uh, it's uh, mid-December, snow on the ground, snow on the trees, it's cold. So I'm taking a, a break from coon hunting and teaming up with Dustin Reinhold again. I'm going to do a little rabbit hunt with the beagles today. And uh, had to drag Dustin out of his tree stand, like myself and and I guess many of us, we're, we're houndsmen, but we're hunters across the board. And so Dustin's been uh, trying to do some deer hunting, right? Try, yeah. I'm going to try and take it easy on you. but Yeah. <laughs> I, I was lucky enough to get one in early archery that kind of freed up my calendar for some, uh, some hunting with the hounds. But uh, now last year, we, uh, we got out early in the season and hunted with blue. And uh, unfortunately, we know we, you lost blue, but you had a re got a replacement. Yep. And uh, how's this uh, young male turn out for you? Uh, he's doing pretty good. He's a uh, year and six months now, and he's getting. He was on fire last year. And now, well, he I haven't hunted him in a while, so this is only the second time he's been out this year. Been kind of neglecting him a little bit because of deer season, but spending all your time in the stand. Yeah, we're ready to go now, though. All right. Of course, so. it's a. It's a cold, windy day. It probably won't be much better rabbit hunting than coon hunting. But uh, and we also got your uh, your cousin, a good friend of mine, uh, Mike Reinhold's uh, uh, young dog out with us as well. Mike might join up with us later. We're actually right behind his house, but he has to babysit, so he's going to have to watch from the window. So I think we saw some uh, some fresh tracks over here. You want to go take a look at those and yeah. see if we can get something jump? Yep. All right. Ready. You have your 17 on your hip? Uh, no, 22 now. <laughs> yeah, was 22. Yeah, I was blowing them up a little too bad. <laughs> for same the, exact gun, just 22 model instead of 17. Okay. Uh, for those that that didn't catch last season's episode, uh, our hunt with Dustin. Dustin either hunts with a pistol or or with a bow, and we tried both last year.
you know, as I said before, my deer hunting season's over for the year. Dustin's still plugging away at it, but that frees up my day to, uh, you know, do other things. And, uh, you know, since I've got friends with, uh, with beagles, you know, I can go rabbit hunting during the daytime and especially when it's too cold, to, I'm not going to be out at all hours coon hunting. And, you know, that just kind of goes to the, you know, the versatility of the sport and the versatility of the dogs. The, uh, the hound and tree dog is not just uh, your rabbit dog or your, your, your coon dog. We, uh, we're using these same breeds to chase all kinds of games. So you can go rabbit hunting or partner up with a buddy and, and you know, chase some coyotes during the daytime or head back up north uh, you know, with our buddy Dan Kirshner and, and, and chase bear or bobcat. So uh, it gives you a lot of options when you're in the, the hound and tree dog circles. You got buddies that are going to hunt some different types of game that gives you something to do in the daytime, evening, or at night. Kind of sounds like maybe uh, Dustin jumped something over here, so we'll work that way. We've jumped that rabbit twice now. Keeps getting in this thick briar and those uh, clumpy grass sections and bedding down. The dog's having a hard time working them out, but even then, I mean, the dogs are almost on it before it takes off again. Maybe we should have gone squirrel hunting. We got out with a, another friend of ours uh, and uh, got our bag limit in about an hour the other day out hunting uh, squirrels with cur dogs.
Спасибо. Well, on a day like today, probably have an easiest time to get a rabbit up as we would have treated a coon. But although it has been a pretty good season, Joe and I both uh, treat quite a few coons. We took you guys with us opening night. I ended up getting 12 opening night, and Joe treated quite a few as well. And until the snow fell last week, we've uh, been treating quite a few coons, so can't really complain. And of course, we've got a lot of season left too. Good job. Good job. Matter of fact, Dave, you can see him without the light easier than you can with the light. Turn your light out. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> can you pick him out? That's funny. Today, this presents us with a dilemma. The most people probably won't understand. You know, I, I like you, if you tree a multiple any other time, multiple coon in the tree, I, I take one. I mean, right. One tree, I just take one, I leave the other ones for right. a hunt another night. Right. But that's but not the case tonight. Tonight, we're on a damage control hunt. We're invited here to reduce the population. I'm afraid that the golf course owner wouldn't be very happy with us if we leave coon and trees. If we if we left them, so um, I, certainly the dog treat them. So we'll go ahead and, and take them. But for the the rest of the viewers, that's not normal for us. Absolutely. But, but that is the particular business we're on this evening. Absolutely. So, you think you can get this one out? Might be able to. I got a good steady rest. That's one stroke right there. <laughs> I'm going to take my mulligan.
that's another one. We will. We jumped them right down here. I must have walked right over the top of them, Dustin. Because you, he came out behind me, and I came through all this. I mean, with this cold wind and the snow, those things just, they won't move unless you kick them. But uh, I think they're hot on them now. Well, it's getting late in the day. It's getting colder and windier. So uh, we may end up calling it quits. But we still got plenty of season left, and and for us, it's not like season really runs out. You know, I was talking before about hounds and tree dogs, the versatility. We we got plenty of options. We've got coon hunting season left, another month and a half of that. Rabbit season will go in for a couple more months, and squirrel hunting. And uh, of course, when that season runs out, we have running season. And and for the last couple summers, we've managed to catch up with wild spirit and do some bear hunting, and and seen some great you know, bear action. Several bear treat over the past couple seasons, some close encounters. I'm tired. Oh, we, wow. <laughs> I, I spent more time punting those rabbits <laughs> than we ended up getting able to chase them. Yeah. They just would not, you know, get out there and, and move about except for as quick as they could to one of those brush piles or that log jam or something. Yeah. Hole. A hole, Got hole in the hole. ground. Got a Got a glimpse of several rabbits though, and uh, I guess if the uh, the weather was so much better, you'd probably be in your tree stand and I'd be resting, getting ready to go do some coon hunting or something, right? But uh, you know, it was uh, it was good to uh, get out and do some rabbit hunting. Of course, we, you know, as I said before, we got another month or so. Yep. I'll let you get back in your tree stand. And when you get that out of your system, then we'll get back out and do some more rabbit hunting. Hopefully, it won't take that long. I hope so. <laughs> Didn't take us that long, did it? Not too long. I don't see what the problem is. Yeah. You know, and of course, of course, I guess if we get uh, we get bored, we could always uh, chase some Russian boar. We got uh, our bud buddy uh, Dan Kirsch and Wild Spirit. He uh, he has Russian boar hunts with dogs year round, and uh, that's something I think you've experienced. But you haven't experienced that, have you? Mm. No. Nope. It's uh, that's something interesting. Good time. Sick Miley, get on, get on, sick, sick, sick. chasing a very large aggressive pig it, it is a true russian boar um, was probably angry before the dog showed up and we didn't help matters by uh, pestering it with all those plots uh, you know running it around so uh, you got to be careful I, I personally got charged a couple times off camera and uh, got backed up uh, out of the swamp there by that russian boar and brian uh, had a close encounter with the russian boar and he got backed up behind a well he found himself behind a sapling. Luckily enough, it was a sow Russian boar, not as aggressive as they could be, and she decided to turn around and, and leave him be. Otherwise, well, we probably would have been down a cameraman. Hey, you know, regardless of uh, getting a bunch of rabbits today, it was an opportunity to catch up and shoot the bull. Some things these guys aren't able to show on TV that we talked about, but heckled Dustin a little bit. You know, which is, uh, I guess, kind of separates us from deer hunting. You go deer hunting, you got to be quiet the whole time. We can go out and chase the dogs and, and catch up on, you know, the old times and, and current events. But uh, it was a great season. 
and uh, we enjoyed bringing you guys a variety of hunts in uh, in season two and we sure hope you get a chance to see us in 2011 and uh, until then this is David Schmidt with another episode of F&T's Tailgate Adventures. F&T's Tailgate Adventures has and then finally a rabbit. With these fine kennels. Chris Brett kennels, Wolf Ridge well, kennels. It is what it is. Black River kennels <laughs> and the home of Buck Creek, Mr. Smith, Extreme Insane X, and Nocturnal X. F&T's Tailgate Adventures is brought to you by F&T's Fur Harvester's Trading Post. Get them. They're going to teach them how to do it. How to do a snow angel. No. The John! Classic uh, hunting dog like boxes. Joe said, bust that Kelly's brush. <laughs> Send us a rabbit. <laughs> There's Dan's the dead. Hunting gear. United Kennel Club. C&H Publishing. Midnight Hunting World. Wild Spirit Guide Service.